I dedicate this video to Levi. Do cucumbers grow in trees? Doesn't say anything about being closed on Christmas Day. So here we go. I definitely know that other people have been out here on Christmas Day. The amount of snow melt, I can still see big foot tracks exiting. I'm hoping that my wife and daughter stir up a, some wildlife that will come my way. Quite the conglomeration of branches on that tree.
just before we exit this tree stand. Just take a little gander around. Going uphill. where we just came from. Take a look out in the field into the sun, I guess, so it's not going to show up too good. The camera. It's just picked up tremendously. This is quite a long trail. This rock, it's kind of funny looking. Anytime I go out, I, I always hope to see some wildlife. So far, not even a squirrel. I did hear some birds. It sounded like a, either a hawk or a raven. Some big trees up there. To the sun, though, so we can't really focus it over there. Look down this bottom of this ridge. I'm just using my, believe it or not, A5 Samsung.
probably not the best, but I enjoy doing this. I wish I would have taken this up sooner, even though I've been in the bush quite a bit. I've never really done, done any filming. Make sure I don't slip here to get muddy. Just take a peek down here. In my little time in the bushes around this area, I would say that that's a cherry tree. Two cherry trees. I didn't realize cherry trees grew so dead big. I don't know if it's because they've been here so long. Good to look behind you with a camera. You never know what you're gonna see. Rabbit, squirrel, coon. It's good to look behind you because skunks. You never want to be in the way of a skunk. My dog Snickers found that out. And so did we. Took a lot of work scrubbing her down at the car wash that smell off her. This is an exact example of how that tree probably grew for, I don't know, 40 years, 50 years, died, but still standing strong. And they say, you know, if you want good firewood, as long as it's still standing, it's still good wood. So why take it down? Let nature run its course. The thing about filming in the bush is when you're walking, you don't really always see everything that the camera's picking up. So you can go back later and you might get some pleasant surprises of what you see. Sometimes funny how things fall.
nature is, is its own designer. Nothing falls unless it's supposed to. Nothing goes where it's not supposed to be. It's us that comes along and moves things. I lost my dog. I call my dog Shadow Dog. That's what I call her. Because she usually stays right ne near me like my shadow. I think she'll be back soon. Oh, there she is. Now we get a, a new perspective as we turn around. Look at this branch here. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but some sort of fun guy growing on that branch up there. Maybe I could try bringing it in. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I guess not. Just want you to know, friends, that sometimes when you, a lot of times, I should say, when you zoom a camera in, you see things that are really not there. But, the other time you zoom something in, and if there is something there, you're glad you did zoom in. I grew up about an hour and a half from here. You see those vines? We never had those. And only an hour and a half from here. Fact, where I spend most of my time, we don't have that. I would wouldn't be very confident at nighttime, moving quickly through the bush like I am in other places, because of those vines.
But it is what it is. Gonna zoom back out. You know, on these trails, you're not supposed to get off them. I understand why. A lot of this land is owned by farmers. And they don't want to be responsible for anybody getting hurt. Sometimes you just look out different spots and you think, well, you know how it always seems to look greener on the other side? The fence. Kind of feel like going in those places, but I guess we're privileged to have what we have. So try to stay on the trail. Know your trails. I guess what would be really interesting is a camera for taking videos at night. I'm going to try to look into it. it just adds a little bit of thrill to the mind as you think about what could be just lurking in the dark if you were out here in the dark take a look up there I appreciate you all being here Zoom in, see if we can see anything. And I know it's towards the sun right now, beneath the clouds. Well, I know there's people waiting for me in the van, so I should probably get going. If, if any of you have any pointers for me for taking videos with my Samsung A5, I'm a person that likes to learn. So if you have any tips and if you want to leave a comment, feel free to. If you want to just zoom to the end and leave me a comment, tell me to stop. You know what? That's good. 
least you're willing to say how you feel. The world we live in right now, that's basically, people are just doing what the government says. It's too bad. But, a government can be good as well. That's where we're going. Down into the tunnel. We'll be right back with that tunnel. So we're at the mouth of the tunnel now. It doesn't last very long. There's another one of those vines. They grow funny. Sometimes they get broken the heel and they just keep on going. See that? Looks like one time that was broken. Came out of the ground. It's coming from way over there. Goes for a long ways. I'm not sure. I think it's a grapevine, but I'm not sure. I do have an app on my phone for telling me what plants are and trees are, but they can be mistaken. Last time I checked it out, it was a grapevine. Not sure if you could cut one of those open and drink water out of it or not. There's definitely a pit here of some sort. Looks like the buds are coming out already. Getting ready for next year. Or I think I think they'll be fine. Not sure, hundred percent. But over the few last few years, I've noticed buds have been coming out early. And again, I've never studied buds on a tree. I've always looked at them, checked them out. Sometimes you give your opinion. One thing you gotta know, it's your opinion. And the next day you could prove yourself wrong. So that's why I don't really shoot down anybody's opinion anymore. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble. Believe me, I've experienced it. Standing up for what you were taught, and the next thing you know, you find out. Even if you were right, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cause peace in specific groups have your opinion enjoy it and live your life and see if your opinion is proved or disproved
Well, folks, I'll give you a couple more zooms, and then I'm going to head back to the car. This is 30 minutes. I don't know if anybody's going to watch a 30-minute video that I put up. Especially in the middle of the winter when everything is vegetation is mostly dormant or dead and looking for regrowth. 